Hey everyone, it's Bo. Um, I'm going to try and do this in video so you hopefully you can see what's going on. I'm having some issues with my... I think it's my TPS sensor, but it, it seems to also be affecting my air fuel ratio gauge. Anyway, um, here's how I have my TPS on the throttle body. I'm not sure if that's upside down or not, but it's adjusted as far as I can get it with those little ears in order to be the lowest voltage output possible. It's not as low as it would be if it was just unbolted from the thing, but it's as low as I can get it from where it is. Um, you can see the you know, throttle's all the way closed here. It's, it's got full range of movement. It's, it's closing. According to Mega Squirt, it's offline right now. I don't have it hooked up to the, uh, or turned on anyway. So, if I got the current throttle where it's closed, that's what it, you get a 372, and then all the way open you get that 945. Notice the status bar right below it, how it's all the way down, hunky-dory, no problem. Um, I think that that's normal, I'm not sure. Now, let me go turn the, uh, the car on, you can kind of see what happens. Alright, see, did you see that? See how it stayed the same values, but that blue bar popped up about 25%. What it's doing when I start it is it just automatically jacks up and tries to idle around 2,000, 2,200, and then it's gradually as it warms up, it just increases up to about 3,000 and stays there. Throttle didn't move, nothing moved, but when it's talking to the Mega Squirt, it thinks 25%. The other weird thing is the throttle position gauge. Now it says 2% right now, but that's because I was messing with the, the screw here. There we go. So the throttle position thinks it's working just fine. Cycle it, zero, 100. We're doing good. The blue bar moves all the way up, but it doesn't go all the way back down. For some reason, this Calibrate TPS thing is keeping me jacked up at about 25% throttle. Um, the AFRs have been driving me crazy. Um, for some reason, I have to unplug the sensor from the controller, power cycle it, and it seems to knock it back into shape, but I'm having to do that quite a bit. I don't know if it's a faulty controller or what, or if this is all related, some sort of ground issue or whatnot, but... This is my latest uh, trial, so any ideas, let me know. Thanks, guys.